Welcome friends, I took the Sony A6100, shot some volleyball, and some football. I got those images coming up. Hey, if this is your first time visiting my channel, subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be informed of all my videos coming up and you can learn more about sports photography, maybe even more about the Sony A6100. And also some more exciting news, at least I consider it exciting. I'm going to be starting a live stream this month, hopefully twice a month. That's my goal. I'm going to be streaming on twitch.tv and also YouTube. So something else to look forward to. I was able to not only shoot volleyball, but also football with the Sony a6100. I got some images for you. We're going to take a look at six of those and we're going to talk about them. And keep in mind here, these are all straight out of the camera images. So you can see what types of photos this camera can produce. First up is your basic photo. I was just trying to get my settings down to where I wanted to start off the games with ISO 2500, 1 800th of a second at f1.8. And I do want to point out that I used the Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 portrait lens when I shot both volleyball and football. Who would shoot football with a 50 millimeter lens? Well, I would. Also, all the photos you will be seeing are JPEGs. I wanted to see how this camera handled straight JPEGs and no raw files. Because if you're just getting started, sometimes you don't know how to handle raw files. But JPEGs, everybody can deal with those. Now, the A6100 has three settings for JPEG. has standard, fine, and extra fine. The A6000 has standard and fine. I went for the extra fine because the more information I can get out of my JPEG, the better. Now, I should shoot this a lot tighter. But when I have a 50 millimeter lens, I can't get much tighter than this unless I'm really, really close. But that's okay. I was curious to see what it would look like once I crop in. So let's do that real fast. Let me change the horizon a little bit. It's a little bit off. And there we go. That's a pretty clean looking photo. Looks like the exposure is down just a little bit with the settings I had. I'm not surprised, but just straight out of the camera. I think that's a good looking photo. Let's go ahead and up the exposure just a little bit. There we go. Pretty clean looking. Skin tones look really good. We zoom in. That's a pretty nice photo straight out of the camera. All right, let's move on. This one is one of my favorite photos that I got. It's really a clean looking shot. Uh, skin tones are a little off. ISO is up to 3200 now with one one thousandth of a second. Looks like it's still just a little underexposed, but it's not too bad. So let's just fix that real fast. Right there, very clean photo. Nice action shot. Got part of her face in there. And this is one to one, so it's looking really good. There's a little motion blur, which if you know me, you know I don't mind a little motion blur. I think it adds a little more excitement to the photo. Next up, all right, we're at a football now. Straight out of the camera, these colors are just popping off my screen. They are just so vibrant and I, I just love them. The yellows and the blues are really great. ISO 500, 1 250th of a second. Now I did put on auto ISO. I adjusted everything else myself. I was able to do 1 250th of a second because there's no action. Here are the captains are walking out for the coin toss but it's, it's nice and crisp and clear. I, I'm really impressed with the photo. Next up, here's an action shot for you guys, ISO 4000. Now the reason it's at ISO 4000, like I said, I have it on auto. End zones are usually darker than the rest of the field, so it jumped it up to 4000. I have it 1 800th of a second to help free some of the action. And look at that, that's a, it's a great photo. You got this guy over here celebrating, you got this guy celebrating because he's just crossed the end zone and he's, look, he's floating. He's not even on the ground, that's how easily he got in. So straight out of the camera, I think it's a great looking photo. One more photo for you guys to look at, another football photo. Now, yes, again, I'm too far away, but I did that for a purpose. ISO is at 2500, that's because the middle of the field, I kind of mentioned a little bit about it earlier, is better lit than the end zones, but my, my big thing here is I want to see what this would look like when I crop in. I'm probably what, 20, oh, we got 10, 20, 30 yards away. Let's see what it looks like when we crop in. She don't look too bad. We'll probably lose some, but there's a little bit of a crop, but we probably want him right there. Let's straighten that a little bit. Let's go in. You can probably live with that. The photo is pretty good looking. You go one to one. It's a little off, it's a little blurry when you get in that far, but it's not terrible. Of course, you would never be shooting with a 50 millimeter from that distance unless you were me. Because I do those things. That way you know what they look like and you know whether or not you should do it or not. My first outings with this camera, I have to say it's all positive. Two thumbs up. 
yeah, baby. I like the images it produced, nice vibrant colors, handle low light situations, and the menu system to me was a breeze to run through and get the exact settings that I needed to produce these images. Now, what do you think? Did you like the images? Did you purchase this camera? Let me know in the comments. I know there's gonna be some interest in the settings that I use, so I'm gonna get you a video out as soon as possible, and we can walk through the settings and I'll show you the things you need to change right away and which settings you don't need to worry about. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me. And as usual, grab your cameras and say it with me, get out and shoot.